Hi, welcome back to Old House DIY. We've talked about the benefits of Lime Plus before, but one of the questions I get asked quite often is how can I tell if I've got lime or if I've got gypsum or cement? Well, in this video, we're going to look at that. So please stick around. This is an area in our library where we've got a damp problem. Visually, I can already tell what I think we've got here. If you notice the pinky color, um, it's quite soft and powdery when it's damp as well. That, to me, is an indicator of gypsum. But the only way to really tell is to take a sample. So I'm going to take my scotch hammer and just take a small sample. There we go, we've got a few bits that we can now use and test. This area is a nook behind one of our chimneys. I stripped off the, all the gypsum from this a while ago. So I suspect the plaster we've got here is that original lime uh, plaster or lime cement. So I'm just gonna take a little sample here for the comparison sake. This is much crumblier. You can even see some hair in there and it's quite long hair, so that will be horse hair. So we'll put that in a pile for testing this outside. We've got another area that's going to need some work soon under this window. Um, so we'll take a sample from here as well. I'm not sure what it is here. Given the age, it might be lime, but given the location, it could be gypsum tried to treat a previous problem. That's enough of a sample from here. Right, we've got a few samples here. Uh, one from the window you saw me take, one from the library, and from the chimney nook you saw me take all of these. I've got a few more that I've either pinched out of the rubble pile or that I've made. This is some pure lime putty that I've allowed to set up. Uh, you see in my video about how to make lime putty I reference samples. This is one of those samples. I've got some uh, naturally hydraulic lime that I allowed to set up, some putty based plaster left over from when I plastered the hall, and I've got uh, some, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but from inside the hall wall, so it'll be interesting to find out what that was, and uh, some samples that I got when I took the old uh, floor up in the main hall. Again, I don't know what this is. I suspect I know what this is for sure, but we'll see. What we'll now do is we'll prepare and we'll do what's known as the fizz test. So what is the fizz test? Well, basically it's vinegar and our sample. Lime should be an alkali. Vinegar is an acid. If you react the two together, you will get a fizzing if lime is present. Because cement and gypsum are inert, they won't fizz. So first of all, as a control, I'll show you some of this putty. This is dried lime putty left over from one of my tests in making hydrated lime from uh, making lime putty from hydrated lime. So what we'll do is we'll put it into a clear pyrex bowl. We'll just put a few small pieces in. We'll just crush them up a little bit. It doesn't need to be a powder. And then we'll add a little bit of uh, this is warm white vinegar, so we'll see. There you, go, you can see immediate fizzing reaction there. So this is pure lime and it's warm, quite strong white vinegar, but you can see a lot of fizzing there. You might even be able to hear it. This is a sample from under the floor. This one's really hard. It's actually got some quite big aggregate in bits. I actually wonder whether this is maybe even concrete that was laid under the slabs. Very much suspect this is going to be pure cement, so there should be very little fizz, but let's have a look. So we've got a bit, but not very much. Here we've got 
what I think is cement sample. It's from the pointy on the outside of the house. It's it's very hard. It's, it's much harder than the stone, so it's going to have to be changed at some stage. Yes, yeah, it difficult to break. So let's give this a try. We'll just break it up a little bit if we can. And let's add some of our vinegar solution. Now that's interesting. We are getting a little bit of fizz. Actually, we're getting quite a lot of fizz from some of it. Maybe some of that's the adhered stone, but what I think they've also done is I think they probably used lime in the cement mix. Uh, it was quite a common dodge at one stage to use lime and then add some cement to harden it. Uh, and sometimes you even use lime as a plasticizer to help the mortar. Um, anytime you introduce cement, it stops it being um, it stops it being breathable and makes it harder. So any cement content is bad. So the first sample we looked at was the pure lime putty. Well, this is a putty base plaster made from the same mix, but we'll just see what this looks like. There we go. Quite a violent reaction but we knew that one was lime anyway. This one's NHL, often controversial, but this is just a piece of pure setup uh, NHL and we'll see what this comes with. Well, careful not to break the bowl. There we are, still, still lots of fizzing particularly as I didn't manage to break it up into very many pieces. Now, this is the sample you saw me take from the chimney nook. This one I'm fairly sure already is lime. If we have a look, we've got quite a gritty texture. In this one we can even see some horsehair sticking out of it. And because of the location behind what was gypsum, um, I think this is original. So we'll break this up. See, it breaks up very easily. Yeah, it crumbles. It's nice and soft. It's not going to damage any bricks or anything. So let's put some uh, more vinegar solution and we'll see how this one fizzes. See, <laughs> there we go. Very strong reaction there. Some of this reaction is down to surface area. So I managed to crumble it up a lot. So you're getting a lot of fizz from uh, the powder at the bottom, which will dissipate as it reacts off and then we'll be left with just the edge of the big stones reacting, which is what we're starting to see now. This is the sample taken from under the window. Let's have a look, see what happens here. Yep, lime again. Now this is a sample from the library. When I looked at it, we actually had quite a bit of samples which are like pink on one side and brown on the other. Now I think this is original and this is gypsum over the top. So I've tried to separate out just the gypsum in there and we'll see what reaction that gets and then we'll do the mixed sample. See, there we go, very limited reaction now. I think that's just from the bits left over. So that's gypsum, that's not reacting at all. Now we'll try a more mixed sample. Now this has got old and new in it. I expect we'll see a bit more reaction. Yes, and we are seeing more reaction. I think that's coming from the bits of original lime plaster adhered to the new gypsum over the top. So I hope you found that informative. If you did, please give it a like. Think about subscribing. Remember, if it fizzes, it's lime. If it doesn't fizz, it's not lime. And if it fizzes a bit, it's probably a bit of both. Thanks for watching.